Hello everyone, I am here on the floor with my beehives because I'm getting bees in April and I thought that we could just hang out and paint some beehives together. I have one deep on the bottom and then I have two medium and this will be my brood. Ow, oh, I just gave myself a splinter. That's fun. Oh, baby. Good start. Um, and then over here, I have two more mediums, which will be my honey supply. Oh, it's gonna be like strawberry lemonade. Oh, I love it. When I started researching a lot about farming and being self-sustainable, I was into the whole like save the bee like movement and I was very interested into why do we need to save the bees? Um, what's killing the bees? Why are the bees dying? Why aren't we having nice strong honey bees? And also, why it's important um, to just have bees for our ecosystem and stuff like that. So that really interests me. And you know, I did some research about just bees, different beehives, the different ways that people around the world keep bees. You know, bees are just a little misunderstood little creatures. I would go to like the county fairs and stuff like that and you know there's always that guy like dressed up in a bee suit like hanging out with the bees in that like bee tunnel almost and I just thought that, that was really cool so I wind up signing up for some beekeeping classes that are local here in New Jersey and it's like a two-day extreme beekeeping boot camp like it's an all-day um, class for two days they feed you all that stuff I learned so, so much, but also I met so many amazing people. Everyone is just very passionate about the bees. So obviously everyone wants to see everyone else, especially the new people like succeed in their bee journey. So that made me feel just like really good and like very confident because honestly, when you're doing like a beekeeping class, there's so much information that they like throw at you. Your brain gets like totally fried. I want this to be super weather Hello, this is a really flattering angle of me. I'm on the floor, so I'm gonna paint some flowers and they're gonna be really cute. And now here I am, I bought my bees, I bought all of my um, equipment for said bees and yeah now we're just beginning our journey it's very important to keep like a beekeeping um, journal so I thought you know what let me do a beekeeping video diary and then I can also visually see everything that's going on in my hive over the course of however many months and I'll have some really great visuals so it's not just me writing down oh it looks good I can actually see and look back on exactly what's going on. So this is kind of why I'm starting this whole series and painting these boxes on camera. And if this might be a little boring, that's okay because this is honestly more for me <laughs> than it is for anyone else. I actually lucked out and I scored so much like pink beekeeping equipment that I'm very excited about. So yeah, I'm gonna literally look so fabulous with my bees. Like, I'm just so excited. I'm like living the full fantasy right now. When you're like a first time beekeeper, most 
balance of what you're doing is just making sure your hive is strong enough to make it through the winter because obviously when a hive is like first establishing themselves like the bees just like need a little bit of help so it's all about creating like strong hives do you like my beehive colors what do normal people do what do normal people do <laughs> I think norm some normal people um, make them just white, and then other people will do like camo. Um, so if you're someone who's looking to get into beekeeping and like you don't really know where to start, I would say go um, onto Facebook and join as many like beekeeping Facebook groups as you can. Um, but also make sure that they're that the group that you're joining is like for your area because depending on where you live, that's going to dictate how you're going to beekeep. Um, like I live in New Jersey, we have really cold winters, really humid summers. And so how I'm going to keep my bees is different how someone in Tennessee or Texas or California is going to keep their bees. Um, also, if you're spending more than like $150 on a beekeeping class, it's not worth it. It's a scam, don't do it. I only spent like $110 on my beekeeping classes um, and they were super, super expensive. So this is what I worked on all day. The next time you see this beehive, she'll be outside and she'll have a whole colony of bees in her. Oh my gosh. Why is this not in a museum? This is everything. This is the moment. It, I, I have no words for how amazing this is. I just want to look at it and stare at it and envision all the bees that will be crawling around this thing. OMG. I'm crying, I'm throwing up on the floor, like. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and like and subscribe for more bees.